Hi there, and welcome to another pencast for the course Reasoning and Logic. In this pencast, we're going to take a look at a very interesting proof using the method of induction. The claim that we will use in this video is the following. Pi to the power n, where n is any natural number, equals 1. Now hopefully you don't need 5 seconds to realize that this claim is clearly false. Pi to the power n is not 1 for n larger than 0. Pi to the power 1, for instance, equals pi. And I'm pretty sure pi does not equal 1. But let's attempt to prove it anyway. And of course, in, like in any induction proof, we start with our base case. Pi to the power 0, yeah, that equals 1. Then let's take a look at our induction step. In the induction step, we need to take an induction hypothesis. So we take an arbitrary k such that pi to the power i equals 1 for all numbers i smaller than k. So we're actually using strong induction here. We're not just saying it's true for a particular k, but for all numbers smaller than or equal to k. So what do we need to prove now? Well, now we need to prove that it also holds for k plus 1. So we need to prove that pi to the power k plus 1 equals 1. Plus pi to the power, sorry, times pi to the... Well, how do we do that? Well, pi to the power k plus 1 equals pi to the power k times pi to the power k over pi to the power k minus 1. If you need 5 seconds, pause the video verify that this is true. And now we can use the induction hypothesis on all three parts of this fraction. Because for pi to the power k, as well as for pi to the power k minus 1, we know that our strong induction hypothesis must hold. So this, according to our induction hypothesis, is equal to 1 times 1 over 1. But that's just 1. So, by induction, we seem to have proven that pi to the power n equals 1 for all n larger than or equal to 0. But as we stated earlier, clearly pi to the power 1 or pi to the power 3 or pi to the power 1000 does not equal 1. So what went wrong? Can you spot it? If not, pause the video again. Give yourself 5 seconds, 5 minutes, however long you need and try to find the mistake. Did you get it? It's a very subtle mistake. It's when we apply our induction hypothesis. Because by applying it to pi to the power k minus 1, we are assuming that k is larger than or equal to 1. Why? Well, because n should be larger than n or equal to 0 which means that k should also be larger than or equal to 0. But pi to the power k minus 1, for k is 0, would equal pi to the power minus 1. And that falls outside of the range of numbers for which we're trying to do this proof. So if we assume k to be larger than or equal to 1, we need another base case. We need to also show that it holds in the base case where n equals 1. But that's not possible, is it? Because for n equals 1, we have pi to the power 1, which is equal to pi. And as I said earlier, I'm pretty sure pi does not equal 1. So, although this proof initially seemed to make a lot of sense, there is a subtle mistake in the way we use our induction hypothesis. And you should always be careful when you're doing strong induction proofs like this, that when you apply the induction hypothesis, you're actually applying it correctly. In this case, we did not, which means that this proof is invalid, which makes sense as the theorem is false. And with that, we've come to the end of this video, but I'll see you around for the next one.